Welcome back once again guys. This is a what you can do video. So let's jump right into how you can inspire others. This article is about the New Zealand COVID protesters who were inspired by Canadian truckers. Um, let me see here. Let me get rid of this video right quick, which I did not know would play. Because it's a stupid ad. Okay. There we go. All right. So, hundreds of people in New Zealand are continuing to protest this government's vaccine mandate, despite the government's attempt to dissuade the protesters. As participants say, they have been inspired by the Canadian truckers protesting their own government more than 8,000 miles away. At least 400 trucks, vans, motorcycles were parked in front of Parliament building in Wellington, and a crowd of people continues to call for an end to the coronavirus-related restrictions, which have effectively closed the country's borders. All right. When you do things, people around you see you do them, and this is good or bad. People see you. You inspire them to good or bad based on what you do, and you can see this right now. This is also why people didn't want to, if you watch mainstream media, they don't want to report on it. Or if they do, they, they want to report on it in a negative light because they don't want this. No, I don't think I will attitude getting out. All right. So <clears throat> let's just read a little bit more of this. There's been an influx of protesters at Parliament today, including children. However, the crowd has been orderly. Assistant Police Commissioner Richard Chambers told a group of reporters. So, law enforcement officers attempting to clear the government building instructed the protesters to leave and said their vehicles would be towed from the area. Chambers added, this is a very complex situation and we are mindful of the taxes we need to take so that the situation is not escalated, according to the report. Prime Minister Jacinda Ardern rejected the demands of the protesters calling the demonstration an imported one, not import, not important, but imported one. The protesters have continued for nine days. While anti-vaccine mandate protests have sprung up across the world, the idea for a protest directly affecting a government building may have been birthed from the Freedom Convoy in Ottawa protesting Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau. I hope it did. I hope it does. And I know here in South Carolina, we had a very similar protest with the mask mandates. Okay. Get out here and protest, guys. This is another reason why I try and tell you to be as independent as you can. Grow your own food. Get dependent on possibly other people. Make sure your family members are okay. You know, uh, that don't be dependent on grocery stores, on, on what the government can give you. Okay. Because guess what? Government will take it away if you're not a good boy. <laughs> okay. Or even if you are, and they just don't like what you're doing. Traditionally, this has come down to religious people. Religious people, I'm not even really talking uh, like Christians here. I'm just speaking religion in general. Because religion in general the large percentage of the good ones, I'll say that, teach you to be an independent person, a thinker, not to rely on, uh, like, a government, let's say, not to rely on even, like, I'm not even supposed to rely on my pastor or my, my church government as much as I am supposed to rely on them all. You see what I'm saying? So it, it is religion is a populist thing it is not a um it's not a kingship thing it doesn't say uh, religion makes us all equal which is something you hear all the time being fought against people try to divide us over everything gender color of our skin um the way our hair is i've seen people try to divide each other because difference of opinion. I've seen people try to divide each over each other over everything. If the people are divided, then the power is gone. Okay. Religion teaches you come together, be together, care for one another, you know, um, push back against injustice, against ty tyranny, against all those things. Okay. So 
religious people often have the hardest time under a big government, whether it's the most ultimate government of tyrannical king rule, or it's the slower tyrannical government of the large government. Okay, a big government, no matter what, no matter what way it is designed, is bad. And we are warned against it in the Bible. God said, do not ask me for a king. The king will take your children. He will decide your life for you, etc. But of course, you know, the Israelites did it anyway. But this is, this is an example of what you can do. Stand up, say something, be heard, be an example to others. When you go out and you walk outside your house, you're an example to others what you do, how you deal with things. I scraped some lady's car the other day. I didn't have to stay. Nobody saw me do it. But I walked into the store because the, the where, where I was parked was next to the workers. So I walked in the store and said, who has this color car? I scraped your car and I did the right thing. Now, did I want to do it? No, internally, I was like, we could get away with this. But I didn't. I walked in there and did it. And you know what people said? At least she came in and told you. I said, you have to walk in out there and find it. At least now you can get it fixed. You know, that was a good thing. How nice of her to come in here. <laughs> okay. What you do out here matters. People are watching everything you do. And whenever you are not around people, you're there. And you know what you did, whether it was right or wrong. So this is what I'm saying, guys. What you can do is live a good life. Live an honest life. Live a life caring for others. You know, God, family, you, the church, etc. like that. You know, you got to have your hierarchy so that you know how to deal with things. But, you know, us getting together, us being together, us doing things together, that is what that's where the greatest power is. It's not, you know, it's not in government as we can see now because these protests are making the government real, real nervous. And I just love it. Okay. Anyway, <laughs> that's what you can do in everyday life to make a change for the everyday person and to make a change every day toward a better life. All right. I will talk to you in the next one. Remember to pray and read your Bible, guys, because a lot of the support for doing the right thing comes from the Holy Spirit. All right. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.